Hello again everyone from Tokyo, Japan and welcome back to Japan Vintage Camera. Uh, it's a wonderful day here in Tokyo. Still winter is still a little bit cold but kind of nice outdoors. But uh, for obvious reasons I'm shooting that my video from uh, inside today uh, because I have a really nice camera which I really don't want to expose to the weather outdoors. Uh, for those of you who have uh, seen my videos in the past, especially my early videos about the Nikon FE and F3, you'll probably remember me mentioning uh, how much I wanted uh, a Nikon F4 uh, back in the days when uh, the FE and F3 were still being produced. But uh, how expensive they were, and that even if I could afford one of these cameras, uh, uh, there was a, a backlog, or, or they were on back order. And it was taking at least uh, 90 days back then to get one of these, even if you had the ridiculous amount of money which they cost. Uh, the price in America in those days was a little, a little more than $3,000, between $3,000 and $3,500, depending on where you were uh, shopping. And the, uh, that much money was worth a lot more in those days than it is today. And today it's still uh, kind of a significant amount. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, I sell uh, cameras in my online stores, japanvintagecamera.com. I have an Etsy store, which is also called Japan Vintage Camera, and I have an eBay store as well. So if you're interested in purchasing a vintage Japanese camera, and possibly even this one, uh, I have a lot available in my stores. Uh, please check the description below the video for links to my stores. So. Uh, though I really wanted one of these cameras back in the day, they were uh, way beyond uh, my price range and I simply couldn't afford one and it wasn't until uh, some years later that I finally got a used F4 and I found that I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was completely different from my early lever wind Nikon F uh, E and F3 but uh, uh, and the, the plastic sensation on it, the, the, you know, the plastic exterior took a little bit of getting used to, but I found that the camera felt really good in my hands and uh, it was quite easy to shoot. Uh, it, it metered everything perfectly, it focused everything quickly, and it gave me amazing results. And one thing which I, I found interesting on that camera was its silent mode. And at first I was kind of curious why you would need a silent mode on this. And then I, someone told me that it was because uh, sometimes you want to, say, uh, film something uh, romantic at a wedding or at a concert or something like that. And you don't want the sound of a motor-driven professional quality SLR camera, you know, uh, going in the background. And, you know, then that kind of reminds me of the, the sound of some of those pop songs from the 80s where you hear, you know, the, the camera being fired in the background. Uh, it's not as loud as a machine gun, but it's definitely uh, noticeable. So uh, the silent mode was quite an interesting feature, and I found it was really great for things like candid or street photography. So uh, I used the cameras, and um, I wasn't especially attached to them. I, I would buy one, I'd get a good offer for it, and I'd sell it, and I'd go a while without one. Then I'd be tempted to get another one again. It's kind of, kind of one of those, I don't know, uh, maybe uh, growing up in America where everything is like so consumer-driven, you kind of uh, have a strong urge to buy things that you don't necessarily need. But uh, in the case of cameras and certain other things, uh, I could usually get for them what I paid for them, so it was kind of like renting them for free. So, uh, fast forward uh, to 2020, and uh, I found this camera for sale on one of the local auction sites here in Japan. And uh, it looked pretty decent from the, the photos, but there were only a couple of photos of it, so I wasn't really sure what it was what it was, or what it was going to be, but I had this uh, silly bug in me to, to get another uh, Nikon F4 because I, I really want to do a, a long review of one of these cameras here on my channel. So uh, uh, I, I decided to put in a bid on it. Now, I bid for a lot of things here, and I, I win very few of them. Uh, I, I tend to, to bid kind of low because uh, too often I, I end up buying things which uh, I can't do anything with. Uh, they don't work and they are too badly damaged to to fix and resell or have other problems. And so uh, I, I bid a small amount and uh, if I win it's a wonderful thing, especially if I get something good. And if I win and it's not so good, uh, then it's not much of a loss. Uh, when this camera arrived in the mail a few days after I, I bid on it and won the auction, and my daughter was helping me in the workshop, and about as helpful as a, a five-year-old can be in a workshop, 
uh, opening the box and she took it out of the cardboard and she took it out of the plastic it was wrapped in and then she opened up the top and uh, the first thing I noticed is this the original Nikon tool here uh, which uh, is the first real example I've ever seen because these are usually lost within a day or so of buying one of these cameras. They're small, they're not attached to anything and when they fall on the ground they can bounce quite far so uh, that was an interesting thing to see. Uh, the next thing I noticed was that the, the neck strap was still here and still wrapped in the original plastic. It's kind of a little bit of, uh, I don't know, uh, atmospheric wear to the paper, but uh, the inside was quite clean. Uh, the owner's manual was still here, and this is the original plastic. Uh, this one has a little crack in it that the owner's manual comes in. And on this side here, I found the uh, price tag, uh, 262,000 yen. And uh, this is not uh, one of the first variations. This is an F4E, and the price went down some uh, time after, as, as these cameras were produced. And in here was uh, pretty much all the literature which you get with these uh, uh, cameras. An invitation to join the Nikon Club, warranty information, a little book about uh, or a guide to using the, uh, I guess, exposure and autofocus system, how to set the modes and things like that. So pretty neat that uh, all of the, the documentation was still here. So I decided to take a look at the camera itself and I pulled it out of the box and opened it up. And to my surprise, uh, it was still wrapped in plastic. And I thought, you know, my first thought was, wow, someone, you know, just uh, got this camera and used it just a very little bit and stored it very carefully. But then I took the plastic off and found that uh, uh, there's not a, a single mark anywhere on this camera. And then I, I finally realized that this was actually a brand new camera, which someone had bought and had never used. It isn't even a, like a demo model because there are no marks that the demo model cameras usually end up with here. Uh, just an amazing camera. And uh, this, is, this is kind of a problem for me because when I bought this camera, um, I intended to do uh, some shooting with it and to do a review of it and uh, to, to kind of enjoy it. But, uh, but uh, it, it's one of those things which is just you know, too nice to use. Now, uh, in the past, I've kind of, uh, you know, I've been on the photography forums and someone says they've come across something which is too nice to shoot. And I kind of laugh at those kind of posts and I, I say, you know, they're, they're meant to be shot. That's why they're made. If you're going to buy it, you should go out and use it. But when you find something like this and then you begin to uh, realize what they're talking about when they, when they say something like that. And this camera is indeed... Uh, uh, too, <laughs> too nice for me to shoot, and even too nice for me to do a complete review on. Uh, this camera has never had uh, film or batteries inside of it, and I really don't want to be the one uh, to do that unless I'm going to be like the long-term owner. And so, uh, as much as it is, as nice as it is, um, I, I'm probably going to, or I'm certainly going to sell this camera, because though I do collect cameras, I tend to collect the ones which have been used a lot. Uh, I love the cameras which are you know, have a lot of brassing or wear and small dings and things like that. They have a lot of character and they have a lot of history behind them. But uh, something like this isn't, you know, I guess, not quite my cup of tea. So uh, uh, quite a wonderful machine. Uh, so for those of you who might be interested in this camera, uh, you can uh, message me uh, through uh, my online store or my Etsy store and make me an offer on it. Uh, I don't think uh, most of us will ever see uh, a brand new Nikon F4E and uh, this one is simply in yeah, incredible new condition. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to wait a little while. I'm now s searching for uh, another F4 camera, uh, one which I can actually shoot and do a review on and uh, yeah, beautiful. The lens mount doesn't have any marks on it. Quite amazing. Yeah, one that I can actually do a review on and maybe go out and shoot a few rolls of film with. Uh, this one is just a little bit too nice. Uh, there are a couple of things here. The glue under the grip has seeped out a little bit. 
uh, on either side. Now you can either clean that up with some uh, thin solvent or something like that or leave it the way it is. It doesn't make any difference. But uh, other than that, uh, this camera is perfect. So uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for my unboxing of this beautiful Nikon uh, F4e. If you are uh, an Icon collector or you know someone who is and who might be interested in this camera, uh, once again, uh, contact me through one of my stores and uh, maybe we can work something out. I'll be making more video reviews about cameras in the near future. If you'd like to see these, uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, of course, please like it. Uh, uh, all the likes and views help. Uh, I'll be, as I said, posting more videos soon, uh, as often as I have the time. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you tune in again soon.